a wild reserve, an abundance of plants and animals, a natural heritage Indonesia is proud to call its own. The country has more than 20 million hectares of peatlands, equaling 5% of the global peatland area. Peat forms in wetland conditions as an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation. These swampy forests store a third of all soil carbon, playing a key role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Well, peatland is, is not a nice environment to live. It's not only neglected, but it's politically and management-wise, it's considered as wasteland or marginal land. So that's why, uh, from the environmental point of view, it has been undervalued. And now, when people are talking about uh, carbon stock, climate change, we suddenly uh, strike that. This is a huge asset. Thanks to renewed attention, awareness is on the rise about forests' carbon storing capacity and its potential to slow global warming through a global scheme called the Red Plus, or reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. But it's an uphill battle against deforestation, driven by growing demands for energy and food. As one of the world's biggest emitters, mainly from deforestation, Indonesia realizes it's time to take action. We in Indonesia will voluntarily reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 26% from business as usual levels by 2020. In this regard, although our peat swamp forest are the largest in the world, they have suffered degradations. That has greatly diminished their capacity to reduce CO2 emission. Restoration is therefore very essential. The president set up a special agency called the Red Plus Task Force and issued a two-year moratorium on new licenses on primary forests and peatlands. This strengthens two previous regulations banning development on peatlands of more than three metres deep. The moratorium it, it itself uh, provides the, uh, the momentum yeah, for the uh, improvement in the forest governance. Yeah. Actually, we uh, set up uh, a new way of collaboration yeah, that could uh, uh, enable us to, uh, to come to that end. In Indonesia's westernmost province of Aceh, the protection for peatlands and collaboration among government agencies are up for a test. Reports came from the field of deliberate and systematic attempts at land clearance using fires in Rawatripa, 62,000 hectares of peatland in Arche. Upaya untuk memastikan ada uh, mengembalikan kawasan uh, hutan gambut ini sudah dilakukan sejak akhir tahun 2007 yang lalu. Nah, kemudian ini juga disuarakan oleh masyarakat setempat dengan didukung oleh banyak pihak termasuk LSM-LSM yang ada di Aceh ya. Dan akhirnya mereka membentuk yang namanya TKPRT, Tim Koalisi Penyelamatan Rawat Ripa yang Walhi juga masuk di dalam uh, unsur TKPRT ini. Red Plus became the avenue for these voices to be heard. Four years after the NGO started their campaign, relevant agencies reacted swiftly getting together to set the next steps and dispatching a team on the ground to assess the damages. Where they found shocking evidence of forest fires that violated permit and land use regulations. Ada unsur kesengajaan untuk melakukan pembakaran pada saat pembukaan lahannya. Yang kedua adalah hasilnya sementara kita menunjukkan bahwa tidak ada upaya untuk melakukan pemadaman. 
Dan yang ketiga ada indikasi kuat adanya kerugian lingkungan yang terjadi akibat oleh kebakaran, pembakaran hutan dan lahan. The Red Plus Task Force coordinated with the police, the Ministry of Forestry, the Ministry of Environment, as well as with the local governments and other stakeholders, making urgent remedial actions. Within nine months, a court decision came out, revoking a previously awarded permit to convert a part of Rua Tripa swamps. Kita lihat Aceh ini terkenal karena masih ada hutannya, ya, sehingga itu menjadi paru-paru dunia. Tapi kita juga harus apa namanya meminta kepada pihak-pihak yang mengelola ini, ya, juga mengikuti. In Roa Tripa, local residents complain of how life has changed for the worst caused by damages from the peatland destruction. Kehilangan, kehilangan kami dalam tanggung bukan yang ada lagi tu lah. Kehilangan ikan lele yang enggak ada lagi. Air bersih dah payah, rotan nggak ada lagi, madu nggak ada lagi. It's not just human lives that are affected. The NGO Walhi reports that up to 100 orangutans died as a result of land clearing activities in Rawa Tripa. Now, only around 200 orangutans remain. The need to restore these peatlands is more urgent than ever. Kalau ini Pak Kak ini kan lahan negara ya gitu. Lahan negara perlu dijaga juga bukan kami pihak pemerintah juga sama masyarakat semua. Kalau di penghijauan kehutanan kan kalau nanti misalnya karet itu ada di ini apa hutan desa di kita. Ada kita sini hutan desa dibuat nanti. Itu ada program hutan desa nanti. Hutan kemasyarakatan, nah, kalau di sini kita nanti mungkin penghijauan semua kita hijaukan kan. Ya itu, ya itu tadi ini dijadikan, dipublikasikan ini salah satu, atau ini menjadi satu contoh lah, contoh kasus ya. Artinya ke, keberpihakan pemerintah daerahnya, keinginan pemerintah daerahnya, ke dukungan dari pusat, dari dukungan dari red, ini kita harus tunjukkan ke pemerintah lain, ya, provinsi lain yang ada khususnya ke daerah-daerah gambut itu. For policy makers, Rawa Tripa has served as a learning ground, full of valuable lessons on how to improve governance, including license reviews and law enforcement. We need to uh, show it to the public and the law can be applied to every corporation, to everybody yeah, that violating the laws and regulations. We need to ensure there is also strong deterrent effect yeah, because by using uh, the proper tools of law enforcement, then the law can send the signal of deterrent, message deterrent effect. We are racing against time now to conserve uh, the environments in, in Aceh especially, uh, and Indonesia and other parts of the world. You have to educate people, start from the uh, children, from the house, in the village, village level, in the school, and then of course to the city at large. What it means to have a beautiful tropical forest that we have in Aceh and Indonesia. Protecting Indonesia's peatlands and improving forest governance is not just about slowing climate change. It's also about protecting the wealth of biodiversity, water, air, and people's livelihoods.
it's a catalyst for global change that begins right here at home.